Welcome back friends, I'm Steve from Crosswright Homestead and we are gonna start out by feeding the animals. We're getting ready to go on vacation, but first we gotta get our chores done before we take off. So why don't you come along with me? Okay. First, let's top off the chicken feed. This is for the young chicks we have. So as we're feeding the chickens, what we did was we went ahead and separated the larger chickens from the smaller chickens because there's too much size difference there. They just want to peck at each other. So we got too many chickens for this little area. So we're going to sell a few. So we did go ahead and temporarily put up a cage to separate them so that both of them can get air and get feed. But uh, some of them are going to go to the auction. They're all full of food and water, ready to go. Rosie is definitely getting pregnant, more pregnant. As you can tell, some of you are farmers. It's starting to become full of milk, which means she will soon have a baby. All right, we got those guys fed this morning. These guys already ripped their hay out on the ground this morning. It took them about two seconds. Rammy once in a while. Is that good stuff? You wouldn't have thrown your hay on the ground. Okay, so the cows are fed, <clears throat> chickens are fed, everything's ready to go, and uh, we we love relaxing here on the homestead being with the animals and having family and friends come out but today we're getting ready to go on vacation just for a couple days so, so we're getting ready to do that but looks like everything's fed everything's watered we're ready to go we're going to take you along on that adventure as well Let's get a look at where we're going to be staying for the next few days.
Good evening, folks. We made it to North Carolina to our destination for a couple of days vacation. Steve drove all day, so we're pretty wore out, but uh, it's a beautiful spot that we found here in the woods. Uh, I'll have to turn the camera around and show you some pictures. Hey, so we heard the best place in town to get donuts is this crafted dough. We're gonna go here and give it a shot with there's rave reviews. It's an awesome place we've heard, so we're about to find out. Let's go check it out. Welcome back to Cross White Homestead. And as we said, we were on vacation this week, so we stopped in at a wonderful donut shop here with our friend Lisa and Scott. And uh, if you're ever in Murphy, North Carolina, this is the best donut shop in the county. Don't be afraid to stop here and, and get some donuts. And this is just a part of our adventure for the day, so. We just wanted to meet our new friends. Everybody keeps telling us, oh, there's something good going on Friday. It's like, of course there is. They do something every, it, it seems like they have like the hardware. How do those donuts taste? They are to die for. Mmm. We got some adventures planned for the day. We're gonna go to this little town called Andrews, North Carolina, and do a train car. Uh, I'm not sure what it all entails yet until we get there and find out, but it's some kind of train car that's kind of made into a bike that we can ride on the rails. So that ought to be interesting. They did say something about 10 miles. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this body doesn't ride 10 miles on a bike, but we'll see how it goes. It'll be fun. We're getting ready to go on this uh, rail tour, so. We'll take you along and try to get as best footage as we can. Hey. I wonder if this tells how many miles we've gone. Right there? Maybe. Miles per hour. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's some cows. Oh, yeah. That's With their babies. There's some bees nest over there. Oh, I mean beehives, yeah, not nest. That is beautiful, isn't it? Wow, this is real. I mean, this is amazing. The trains really came through here. like to just stay between the rails where the ties are nice and flat and easy walking but you remember the tunnel was all hand dug no dynamite so as you walk down through there you can still hear the tink and then you know so it was a, two years to do it two years to do it so, but feel free to walk down and if you go down here towards the outhouse <laughs> the bathroom at the end of the yellow post there you can go down under the river down under the bridge to the river, take pictures. Beautiful down there. It's 
snake. Big black snake. So I just learned lesson one as we arrived at halfway point of our trip. Do not be the first person off the bike to go down a trail because I just walked upon about a four foot black snake. I tried to get some of it on video. We'll see if it come out, but do not be the first one to go down the trail in the middle of a mountain. So we made it five miles. So we're halfway through our trip. Now we're going to turn around and go back. But we figured we'd get our feet in the cold water before we head back on our next five miles of biking. So we made it this far. So pray for us that we make it the rest of the way. So these guys were called Andrew Sai Rail Tours. How often do you do this track every day? Usually about three times a day. Three times a day? Yeah. All right. It's about two and a half, three hours a trip. Okay. What would you say to encourage people to come to your... Well, it's pretty and it's a part of the mountain you don't really get to see. Um, like I, I, I moved here when I was nine. I turned 20 last week and up until getting this job I'd never seen this part of the mountains so it's really cool to get to see a part that you don't only get to see. Definitely a unique experience. Definitely. You won't really see this many places. Rail bikes kind of with this nice tunnel too. Mm -hmm. A lot of history behind it. Right. Fun time though. Thanks. We had like a people that like took was taking pictures as they were driving through the tunnel uh -huh. and so I, people had different opinions on this. I had a guy just kind of argue me a little bit but as far as our understanding they say Eggman died it was probably more than that but um oh you mean building this, this? Building this. Yeah, like okay because it's it was like they, they say that there's on that that side was only drilled and it was hand carved mm -hmm. by convicts now some people have opinions on that as I just found out that uh, it's a uh, for the most part, it's they, that's what they tell us is that it was a uh, hand card by convicts, and they say the eight died, they buried them on top. And so, we were going through the other day, I wasn't here, but uh, some of our riders they were taking pictures as they're going through the tunnel, and in the picture, it showed up legs. Legs, so mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I'm not big on that kind of stuff, but I mean, that's still pretty cool, okay. <laughs> Definitely helps for felicity. <laughs> yeah, cool so <laughs> we should be watching for legs as we go back through. Yeah. Okay. Someone took a picture and saw that? Yeah, and it showed up in the picture. Hey friends, welcome back to Crossright Homestead. As you can see, Andrew Valley Rail Tours, and we that's a venture we just went on, and you got to see the video footage of that. It's a small business just getting started, so if you're in the neighborhood, they're wonderful people, southern hospitality at the finest. So come down, support this small business, give them your business, you'll have the greatest time of your life. So come on down, ride the rails, and uh, support a small business. So now we found a place called Okoy, Tennessee. Everybody's out here swimming and getting wet, so we're gonna see how cold the water is and just check this place out. It's pretty cool.
Hey, welcome back. So we're out just kind of exploring the area and looking to see what it has to offer before we go to dinner tonight. So we come across this area where you can do whitewater rafting and boat launches. It's a pretty beautiful place. We thought we'd uh, stop and show you what it looks like. little fella here just caught him a fly for dinner. Let's see if we can touch him. Hey everybody, as you can see we're home safe and sound. We uh, want to thank all those people that helped us have a good time on our vacation all those small business owners that we got to meet some new friends that we got to meet and we want to thank each and every one of them for their hospitality thanks to scott and lisa at crafty dough and murphy that was wonderful donuts and also we want to say a big thank you to andrews valley rail tours that was a great time so thanks a lot and uh, we also want to thank all you viewers that watch every week we want to continue to um, do these shows and episodes and we want to continue to do the show you as we grow in our homesteading and what we learn and what we can learn from you guys and we pray that uh, you enjoy our shows and continue to watch like and subscribe we're still trying to get uh, the 1,000 subscribers so we're only about halfway there so share this with your friends get them to like and subscribe as well and we will continue to bring you the episodes and if you have a comment or something you'd like to see on a future episode don't be afraid to reach out to us and tell us what you'd like to see, and we will try to make that happen. So, thanks for watching. Thank you, and have a great day, and God bless. We look forward to seeing you on our next video.